Hi everyone, Danielle here at Pack Expo International in Chicago. Today we'll be visiting our safety division, MPSA, a division of airline. We'll be speaking with Jamie and Dave who will show us the latest machine safety trainer from MPSA. Being both safe and compliant is, is critically important. Most people understand being safe means that you don't receive an injury uh, while operating equipment. Compliance means that you're complying with regulatory requirements or industry consensus standards. And there are many applications where approved components are used. They may reduce risk, but they may not be fully compliant. So the goal in all machine guarding is to reduce the risk, but also to achieve full compliance with regulatory and best industry practice or consensus standard. Our machine safety trainer incorporates both of those applications for students to understand proper selection of components, proper use of components, and most importantly, uh, control reliable solutions in ensuring that we have a safe and a compliant uh, application. Now we have three safety devices that protect from the hazard, which is demonstrated by the rotating motor. Those three devices are safety solenoid interlock switches, safety light curtains, and on the other door, a non-contact interlock switch. So first I'm going to test the safety light curtain. When I penetrate the light curtain, that motor is going to come to a stop, okay, and you see whether you feel as though it's compliant or not, all right? Well, that's a non-compliant solution. I can reach the, the turning motor before it comes to a complete stop. All right, so now let's look at the solenoid locking switch. What this does is not only does it interlock and prevent access through the door, but it's locked so you can't reach in at any given time while the motor is running. So now think about this in regard to compliance and non-compliance so far as safety goes. Now, to utilize this, the way it's designed is, I need to first request access. So, request access, I can't open the door, now, I, now it releases, now I can reach into the hazardous area. And yes, this is a compliant solution, because it does not allow me to reach into the hazardous area until motion has, has stopped. Now we'll look at the non-contact interlock switch. So, I'll demonstrate opening this door, think about whether it's compliant or not compliant. Now what you saw there was the fact that I was able to open the door and still reach the hazard became before it came to a complete stop. Makes it a non-compliant safety solution for this application as it's been built. So now we'll talk about the mechanical devices that protect you from a hazard. Okay? And we're still talking about whether it's a compliant or non-compliant solution. So those, the two that I can show you is, is the Lexan panel and a wire mesh cover. So thinking about compliance, can I reach the hazard? Is there any way to reach that hazard through this Lexan panel? It's very obvious, I think, that, that you can't. But think about this one, okay? Now, now you've got openings where you might have access into the hazardous area, okay? This is what people typically call, is, call the gotcha stick. If I can reach through an opening and reach to the hazard, all right, I don't have proper safety implementation. That's exposed hazard that is not a compliant solution. We believe our safety trainer is, is a powerful tool. It's a tool that we can utilize in our training to various clients. It's a tool that we can take to clients' locations rather easily and in a lunch and learn or a short session be able to demonstrate some very important topics uh, regarding machine safety. The trainer is also available for purchase. Clients may wish to contact MPSA directly for information on pricing and ordering of machine safety training for their own in-house training needs. So for more information about MPSA, the safety trainer, or even purchasing the trainer, visit our website www.mpsasafety.com. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe right up here. From Pack Expo, I'm Danielle. See you next time.